What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Important's movie review of X, the newest film from director Ty West. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below on the video that you watch including this one. All right, boys and girls, here we have another Ty West film. And this film, X, which uh, stars, of course, Mia Goth and people like Brittany Stone and, of course, Kid Cudi, is about a story about five or six individuals from Houston, Texas in 1979 who are traveling down a road. They're going to stay at this old couple's farm in this bungalow and they're paying them. But they're not telling them why they're there. They're there to shoot a porn, a film that they feel like they can make a lot of money off of. So, in essence, because this is a Ty West film, it's going to be a very visceral experience with a lot of blood and gore and very interesting kind of concepts and theories and uh this movie is no different to be fairly honest a lot of things happen in this movie very violent things very over the top and crazy things and it does a horror film in what you would expect a horror film to be and so if you can't tell i am a huge ty west fan i love the innkeepers which is one of my favorite horror films in the last decade uh the house of the devil is a very interesting horror film and of course the sacrament is a very it's, a, it's an interesting film I'll, I'll put it that respect without spoiling it so i was really excited to see what he could do with a kind of 70s grindhouse horror type film where it's about individuals who find themselves in a situation they shouldn't be in so i was really excited i i actually didn't watch the trailer for this i just from what i read from the synopsis and who was in the film i knew it was going to be a very low indie budget film and i also knew this was going to be a film that wasn't going to be for everyone based on the other films that ty west has directed this is a specific director who does specific things in the horror genre and that's what i love about it so with that said i absolutely love this film it's his most accessible film that you can watch it once again is not gonna be for everyone because it is super violent it is super disturbing and may kind of go into some territory that may make people laugh and the uncomfortableness or may make people not really enjoy what they're what they're watching to be fairly honest but i love what ty west is doing here i love how he takes the idea of the 70s and he even the way he shoots the film that he uses like 16 millimeter or whatever they shoot these types of films in and you know there's shots like that and then there's when it goes to the you know the main footage it like has burn marks on both sides at the bottom and top and i absolutely love that and i just think everybody in this movie knows what they're involved with what they're trying to do and it turns into this spectacular horror film with some amazing gore with some amazing scares and the old couple that's in this film is absolutely perfect as just that couple that you find creepy you don't know what they're going to do you don't know how they're pro going to progress and when they start kind of it, inflicting themselves into the movie it just works with a hundred like to the 110th degree and i absolutely fell in love with that i really did it's not a perfect movie to be fairly honest and never these movies never are because there is some stuff in there just because becomes so ridiculous and outrageous that you know it causes a little bit of hysteria when it comes to laughter and stuff like that but that may have been the point for what ty west was doing in this movie but it really just feels like an authentic good old-fashioned horror film with some ideas about christianity and religion which is what horror films deal with a lot of times it has some amazing vis visual effects amazing uh practical effects i think just everything about it works it feels fun and entertaining while graphic and horrifying you know like once again i think everybody is having fun in this movie including mia goth who's fantastic in this movie and you know kid cuddy who's just having the time of his life playing the only guy in this film to be part of that porn which i thought was hilarious because of kid cuddy who he is you know jenna ortega who was already in scream is in this movie and is fun is kind of the the reserved individual and like i said britney snow is the one that's like i'm i'm the star and stuff like that and just everything about this movie just works it's fun it, it holds nothing back it, it's silly when it needs to be silly it's horrifying when it needs to be horrifying and it's just it's a good horror film to be fairly honest like i said it's not gonna be for everyone there's gonna be people that just can't handle these types of films which is perfectly all right because these types of horror films especially when they get into the graphic content can really make people uneasy and queasy and just not that type of film for them but overall I really love this film. I think it's fun, entertaining, and just a good horror film, a good standard horror film that does what Ty West does, which is make really interesting conceptual type films when it comes to the horror genre. So, but that'll be my overall take on X. So thank you so much for watching this review. In the comments below, just let me know if you're interested in seeing this movie, what's your favorite, you know, non-traditional horror film in the indie sense, all that good stuff. But anyways, thank you so much. If you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out